project is about assessing drift better and subsequently improving regulations. When a label is made, EPA uses many factors to assess the risk and requirements. Drift is just one of those items. The problem with how it is currently done is that the models do not account for wind, machine type, and time of season, and other factors that clearly have an impact on drift. The current model used for labels often assumes the worst case scenario of dormant, young apple trees. Modelers and scientists with decades of experience are creating a better model to be more representative of real world situations. We at WSU are collecting data for that model. The green dye seen is actually a tracer that fluoresces. We spray it and collect it on cards, strings, and artificial foliage. In the lab, we have a machine that measures the parts per billion on any collector. In the field, we also have state-of-the-art weather stations to combine all of the deposition data with the weather data. Assuming success in adoption of these new models, growers could see regulations that actually incentivize best practices and use of low drift technologies. That's a win for everyone.